In this video, we are going to talk about area. So back in geometry, the area, this is what you study in the past. The area of a rectangle is a uh, length times width. The area of a triangle is base times height divided by two. The reason that you have to divide by two is when you do base times height, you get the area of a complete rectangle. You have to cut that into half to get a triangle. What is area? Area is the amount of space occupied by a surface or a flat shaped two dimensional object. So speaking of area, so if you want to find the area of a rectangle of a triangle, then you are looking for the total amount of space in there. So if you look at your table or your uh, tablet, the area is the total amount of the, the surface area, the surface. How much space do you have on the table? So that is the area. But in, in, in this uh, lesson, we are going to go a little bit deeper. So if you look to the figure on the right, what if the figure is an undefined shape? So in this figure, I have an x, y axis and I have a function f of x and then I show you the graph of the function, which is a curve. Now, I am only interested in the domain. I want the domain of the function to be between A and B. So I am only interested in that region. My question is, what is the area under the curve? So that is not a rectangle, that is not a triangle. So if you look at the purple area, so I'm, my question is, what is the area? How do you find that area? So it looks like that is not a rectangle, that is not a triangle. We don't, I, am, I cannot recall a formula that I studied in the past to do the base times height to find the area. There is no way to do that because that is an undefined shape, right? So what is the area? We don't know, but how do we find this area? Is there a way to find or at least approximate the area? The answer is yes. Using what tool? Using definite integral. Well, definite integral right here. So this is a big word in this lesson because definite integral. So let me ask you a question. Hey, do you know what definite integral is? Most people will say you don't, you don't know, right? That's why you watch, you are watching this video. Yes, you're right. You don't know what definite integral is. It's a big concept in integral calculus. I am going to show you what a definite integral is, but what I am going to do here right now is I won't just give you a, a, a formula and say, hey, look, this is what a definite integral looks like. This is how it works. This is how you do the calculus to get the answer. No, nope, we are not going to do that right now. We are going to break it down into the fundamental concept. So let's say, how about this? Let's say many, many years ago, how do they came up with this idea? Let's say definite integral doesn't exist at this point. It doesn't exist at all. How do we find this idea, right? So we are going to go back to the fundamentals. So if you look at the picture on the left, I have a function y equals to x squared. That is a parabola. I am only interested in x between 0 and 1. So you have to graph the parabola for me. I don't need to look at the entire parabola. I only I am only interested in the domain where x is between 0 and 1. So when x is equals to 0, that is at the origin, right? So when x is equals to 0, we are right here. That is at the origin. So that is right here. When x is equals to 1, I have the other point. So my question is, the lower limit is at 0, the upper limit is at 1. So we cut a region, right? So there is some area under that curve. My question is, what is the area of that pink region? Now, to answer this question, the one thing that you have to know is this shape is not a triangle. So the base times height divided by 2 is not going to work. And then based on the geometry knowledge that we have at this point, I don't have such formula to find the area, right? So even though you cut that into little pieces, I still don't have such formula because look at the function. The function is a curve. It's not a straight line. So that is not a hypotenuse. So therefore, base times height divided by 2 is not going to work. So think about this again, many, many years ago, how, 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 how do we do this? Let's say we don't have computer, we don't have phones, we don't have internet, nothing. Based on a piece of paper, what can we do? We only have a piece of paper. So here is one great idea. So let's move on to the next picture. So in this picture, I divided the paint area into four strips 
four strips. You can think about that as a, a piece. I divide that area into four pieces with equal width. What do I mean by equal width? So this is how I do the equal width. So I draw a point. This is stands for x equals to zero. And then I draw a straight line. This stands for x equals to one. I need to cut this uh, segment into four pieces. How do we do that first? I make a cut right in the middle. So that is 0 0.5, right? 0 plus 1 divided by 2. 0 0.5 is right in the middle of 0 and 1, right? What about between 0 and 0.5? If you take 0 plus 0.5 divided by 2, I don't think you, you even need to do this. What is half of 50%? 25%. So this is 0 0.25, and then this will be 0 0.75. If you use fraction, then that will be uh, 1 fourth. This is a 2 4, this is a 3 4, right? So that's how I got 4 equal width. This is number 1, this is number 2, this is number 3, and this is number 4. How long is each piece? From 0 to 0.25, the length is 0 0.25. From 0 0.25 to 0.5, the length is 0.25, right? So every strip has, the, has equal width. The width, the base of the strip, is 0 0.25 okay so now i got the base okay but we are still unable to determine the area of the strip so if you look at s4 right here what is the area of this strip i am not asking you to do calculus i'm asking you to do a geometry for me what is the area the answer is i am not able to determine the area because look at the graph the graph is a curve it's not a straight line so the orange curve is not a straight line not a hypotenuse so the base times height divided by 2 is not going to work the base times height is not going to work this is not a rectangle anyway but anyway okay so even though we are not able to find it but that leads me to that i just walk one step further at, at this point i know that i at least I know that first thing is we should divide that into a few strips. So that is the first step and we just make a good step. So in the next video, I will show you the methods to find that to not to find to approximate the area under this curve using different methods. All right. I see you all in the next video. Signing off for now.